Okay. And with uh, the old timers and the old bosses, I mean, Raymond Patriarch Sr., you know, Raymond Patriarch Jr. I mean, did you ever get to meet these guys or your father? Because he would have been maybe around that time. Yeah, my father, but not me. I never met them. Yeah. And did your father ever discuss the relationship or anything no, no. with you? No. 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 So, I mean, I, mean, I, I knew his involvement in the street in Boston and everything. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But uh, as far as the meeting Junior, uh, the father, I'm sure he had in his life a few times. Yeah. I know he went down to Rhode Island a few times. So I know he met these people. But again, see, the Boston crew was a little separated. Mm-hmm. Even though Patriarca was the boss of the family, don't get me wrong, but he was in Rhode Island. And the Julo family really were running. Jerry and Julo was uh, Raymond's underboss. Mm-hmm. He was really running most of the activities in Boston. And so it was, still, it was separated. And so why did they split, you know, in areas, you know, instead of, you know, having it in one? I mean, because they had. Oh, no, it was one family. It, it was, was one. one it was one family. But Raymond was headquartered in Rhode Island mm-hmm. and Jerry was in Boston. And was there a reason for that in particular? Was they, did they want it like no, that? Well, well, Patriarch himself was born in Worcester. I think four years old, they moved to Rhode Island. Mm-hmm. But Patriarch came up to Boston when, in his younger days, you know, and then the family ended up being left to Raymond. So what he did is he he had his office down. The office was down in Rhode Island. Right. Jerry had the doghouse, and then on then they used to call it his club, mm-hmm. and that's what they did their business out of. But Jerry answered to Raymond. Everybody answered to Raymond. So yeah, it I wasn't mean, that they were separate. It's like uh, maybe like the Gambinos, they might have a crew in Florida. Mm-hmm. Or yeah. the Genovese, but they're still answering back in New York. Yeah. You know There's, what I mean? So yeah. they were, everybody was answering to Raymond, believe me. Yeah. So, I mean, Raymond had a definitely a big impact on everyone. I mean, he was the boss, and, you know, whatever he said went. And so, with him as well, who do you even know, like, deeply the history of the Patriarcha family? Like, who would have been before him? You know, I did know everything, and I did have all the names. It's in the book. But, you know, I'm getting a little older now. Man. I don't remember <laughs> all these names anymore. Yeah, I mean, because these you guys know, were back. They're old, old times. Oh, we're going back to the 30s. So yeah. Yeah, I mean. No, I, no, I understand. It's hard to remember. It yeah. really is. But it's all in my book. Those okay. In my book, yeah. Well, well I was going to say, so then for you in particular, I mean, who was uh, the guy that you reported to in the Patriarch family at that time? I mean, weren't you with uh, – I'm not sure who, I mean, who exactly were you with in that area? I mean, who was the, kind of like the boss overall? Well, the, the guy that proposed me, the guy that I was uh, was with was uh, Mark Rosetti. Mm-hmm. And that's where you're around. Um, he was your, like, maid guy in or he was a couple? Yeah, he's the one that, yeah, that um, actually proposed me in the Patriarca family. And then around uh, um, Jackie Salemi, Frankie Salemi's brother, Frankie became the boss. Mm-hmm. You know, when he, he went away, uh, his brother took over there for a little while. So these are the people that are, I was around the uh, Salemi faction, I should say it that way. Yeah, and with, with the Patriot. Yeah. And with uh, Frank Salemi, too, when he be, eventually became boss, he was, wasn't he a little bit Irish or he wasn't full Italian, right? Half Irish. So how did that work? I mean, did they just kind of. Well, the, the old man Raymond would never make him. No matter what he did, he won't make him because he wasn't pure Italian. Junior made him the son. Oh, so he Junior did actually make him a made guy in that family? Yeah, yeah. Well, the rules kind of changed a little because we're really Americano over there now, you know? <laughs> yeah. So one, one of the guys I made had Irish in him, too. Oh, really? But he had so an Italian last name, yeah. Didn't have to be full Italian after what, what year would you say that? That was going down? Like 70s, I, I 80s? Would say, I would say the late 80s, 90s that was starting to happen. Yeah, you things know, were changing. Things were starting to change, yeah. And Frank Salemi, too, he, he didn't he become an informant? Yes, he did. Yes, and he did. was that way after your time on the street? No, he he, came, he became an informant. Why? Well, let me tell you, when I was running, by the time I got picked up in 99, he was still in uh, the county uh, prisons up there. Because in Boston, they keep us in the counties before we get convicted and go to the feds or whatever, you know. Mm-hmm. So at that point, nobody was sure. And when I was with him in a cell block, I didn't know. That he you know, was already cooperating? 
Yeah, they pulled him out before they pulled me out. Yeah. <laughs> so what was your thoughts when you heard he flipped? I wasn't surprised because no. he was around uh, Stevie Flemmy and um, what's his name? Uh, come on. The other guy that was involved in the internal war, the three. Yeah, factions. yeah, yeah. Whatever. I, I even forget his name now. That's all. J. J. R. Russo in it? No, 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 no. no, no. Oh. Whitey Bulger. Whitey Bulger. Okay. Oh, okay. So yeah, that's why you weren't surprised when he flipped. No. Yeah. No, I really wasn't. You know. Mm -hmm. Well, they make good guys flip those two idiots. But what are you gonna do? Well, you know, when you came back as well. There was an internal war going on with the Patriarcha family, right? Yeah. What was it all about? Well, the, nobody wanted Frankie Salami to take over the family, and that's where it was headed. So mm -hmm. uh, while Bill Grasso was the underboss for Raymond Jr. down in uh, out of Connecticut and Rhode Island, he got clipped. And the same day they tried to clip Frankie Salami, they got him on the highway and were one. I think they hit him two or three times in the stomach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know if it was a large caliber of 22, I don't remember, you know, and that really uh, uh, was a show of force then. But Frankie carried on. Joe and all those guys in Boston got picked up. He didn't have too much opposition. So Frankie just stepped in.